Hello everyone, this is David. I'm the Chief Micropayment Scientist in RedMesh. Today we will show you how to use the RedMesh library and with the micropayment channel technology to sell data to those people who do not have the internet access. So first, please see the screen. In the screen, uh, we are running a super peer and we have the super peer ID here. Okay, and later on, you will create a topology show on this whiteboard. We have two gateway peers, and each of them have, has the internet access. So later on, we will let a buyer who does not have the internet access to transmit the packet to the destination node, the, the gateway peer 2. So the gateway peer 1 is responsible to forward the data packets across the super peer to the destination, and eventually the gateway peer 1 will get paid. So uh, because we are trying to use the payment channel stuff, when the, when the uh, gateway peer 1 and gateway peer 2 run the first time, the super peer is responsible to check if there are payment channels between the super peers and those uh, gateway peers. If uh, they do not have the payment channel, the micropayment channel, the super peer um, will create the payment channel. And then if, the, if, we, do, if we indeed have the uh, micropayment channel, then the data transmission can, uh, can be uh, proceed. So first, let me inch, uh, run this app on the gateway peer 2. This is a test app built atop uh, the right mesh library. Yeah, you can see the peer, peer ID show on this uh, screen. So later on, you will see this super peer will try to check if there are payment, micro payment channels from the super peer or uh, go into this super peer. For this, micro, uh, for this uh, gateway peer 2, we have both the outgoing channel and incoming channel uh, exist. So right now, I will show you that if there is no payment channel, micro payment channel between the gateway peer 1 and the super peer, the super peer will create a payment channel to the uh, gateway peer. So to, uh, to show the correctness, we will first show the, this is the Ether uh, scan. Uh, this ID is the super peer ID. And this ID is the um, gateway peer 1's ID. So right now, if we do the query, you can see that there is no information about the payment channel from the super peer to the uh, gateway peer 1. So right now, let's start the app for the uh, gateway peer 1. They are the exactly the same app, but uh, just for different testing purposes. So this app has been launched. Then go back to our super peer. Uh, uh, it's here. So you can see that we do not have the outgoing channel from the super peer to the uh, gateway peer 1. So the super peer will automatically create a um, micropayment channel. Then right now we can see the out channel open. So right now both the gateway peer 1 and gateway peer 2 are ready to use. So right now let's turn on another app on the uh, buyer side. The buyer does not have the internet access, so it will use the Bluetooth to connect to the uh, gateway peer 1. And the app is launching. Okay, so we can see the uh, app running the Bluetooth, can see all the peers in the network. Uh, we have the, uh, the peer uh, on this app has the ID for send file file and then we have other peers which are the uh, gateway peer 1 and gateway peer 2. So right now I will transmit a packet to the destination. Um, so let's just uh, send, uh, send the packet. So this packet is transmitted to the gateway peer 1. So later on you can see that this uh, Packet has been received by the uh, right. Okay, 
So right now, before we uh, check the results, let's see if we have already the payment channel created. Because we have seen this part before, we do not have the payment channel from the silver peer to the uh, gateway peer one. And then the silver peer will create that. Let's see. Yes, we have the, um, the deposit actually 10, 10 tokens. Okay? And then we want to close the channel. We want to close the channel so that the uh, gateway peer one can get some token transferred. So before that, we want to see the balance of this one. So let's search inside here. So we can see currently it has uh, the token is this amount. Okay, is this amount. So later on when we have uh, when we have closed the payment channel, you can see the data center will receive some token. So right now let's um, uh, close the channel. So right now we just uh, need to tap the command on the screen to close the channel. So you can see that waiting for transaction to be mined. So you can see the odd channel has been closed. So let's go back to the uh, web browser to see if the balance of the uh, data center has been updated. Let's just refresh the web page. So you can see that this amount has been updated and the most recent transaction is uh, 21 seconds ago and uh, we have transferred this amount to the um, data center. Right now, we should see that the payment channel has been closed. Let's go back to the uh, previous one. So this get channel E4. The sender should be uh, Yeah, the sender should be zero here, and the uh, the receiver should be the gateway here. So let's pay the receiver side here. So you can see this channel has been closed, and the receiver has received the corresponding amount of token. 